tonight I'm setting up two rigs. I've got the Haskar 400 on the HEQ5, and this will be, uh, this is one shot color, and I'm gonna be shooting my carrier's chain tonight because that's gonna be up all night. I'm gonna set this, I've got cloud up until about 11. So at 11 o'clock, I'm gonna start this running, and it should run till five in the morning. Hopefully, I'll get a good few hours on my carrying chain with this. And on the Obsi rig, as yet, I haven't found a target for this one yet. This has got the reducer still on. Um, this is at 650, so I need to find a target for this. But again, I can't start it running until just after 11. So uh, I better go and look for a target. Taking my Alpro filter out tonight. Um, I'm shooting galaxies. There's no moon tonight, and um, I'm in a ball of four skies, so there isn't really a great deal of light pollution. So I'm going to see how we get on tonight with out of filter. So I plan to do a full review on this scope before very long. This is the Ascar FRA 400, and I think it's an excellent scope. I've had it for a while now and it's about time I told you what I thought about it. So that will be coming soon, so look out for that. So this is the frustrating part. I've got both rigs set up and I'm ready to go. It's nice and dark outside, but unfortunately the sky is full of clouds and they're not set to clear for another two to three hours. So very frustrating, really keen to get going, but unfortunately <laughs> this is a hobby. So this is three nights later. Unfortunately, the clothes didn't go till way past midnight and I had to take down the Ascar rig. Um, I had to go to work early the next day and I couldn't uh, wait around to get it started, but I left the Obsi rig going and that worked successfully. And as you can see, behind me is moving now. Nina is now slewing to my new target because we have another clear sky. I don't know how long for, a um, couple of hours if I'm lucky. Um, that's a bit of a problem actually, if you can see that. I've just realised. I'm pointing at the walls, <laughs> my target is too low. Uh, that's a shame, because by the time it's high enough, the clouds will probably be in. So, um, um, yeah, we'll review this and uh, see what happens. Right, so after that little fiasco, I have um, chosen another target, and Nina is now calling the camera again, and any moment should slew round to that target, hopefully. And hopefully this one will be a little bit higher, and it won't be shooting at the wall, so, yeah, that was a bit of a schoolboy error, but um, that's because I come out, I saw the sky was clear, uh, got a bit excited, in too much of a hurry, selected the target, and I didn't check it out to see how high it was. Um, there we go. Nina is uh, slewing round to my target, which is M101. And the last time I was on that, it was quite high. So there, you can see the angle of that much better. Anyway, I better put the light out because it's trying to um, focus. Right. Yet again, I failed to get the mod carrying's chain. Um, a couple of nights ago, I was going to use the SCAR, but um, the clothes didn't go, so I had to take that rig down. I left this obviously rig running. I was on M101 that night, and tonight I just tried with this rig 
and then my camera's changed, but as you saw, <laughs> the target was a little bit low. Um, and I knew if I waited, the clouds would be in. And sure enough, they're in now. So that's the end of another night, very short, but I will keep going. I'm not gonna give in. I will get the Mark Harry's chain eventually. So um, until then, watch your space and uh, hope to see you all later. <laughs>